Lockheed Martin's F-35 Lightning I embodies capabilities based on thinking developed through evolving requirements since at least 1983, when the U.S. Navy launched its Advanced Tactical Aircraft ATTA, program to find a stealthy replacement for the Grumman A-6 intruder. That same year, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DRBA, began its advanced short takeoff slash vertical landing ASTOVL, effort looking to develop a supersonic successor to the Harrier. Two classified programs ran under ASTOVL, which was always intended to produce information of value to the US and UK. The STOVL Strike Fighter SSF, research ran from 1987 to 1994 and examined the feasibility of creating the technologies necessary for a stealthy, supersonic STOVL fighter, while the common affordable lightweight fighter TALF program ran for just a year from 1993, combining the ASTOVL and SSF work into a single effort to provide a Harrier replacement specifically for the US and UK. Meanwhile, ATA had suffered insurmountable technological and financial challenges and closed down in 1991. In 1990, however, the U.S. Navy had already turned its attention to replacing the Grumman F-14 Tomcat, for which requirement the USAF's Advanced Tactical Fighter, ATF, was seen as a potential basis. The proposal was examined as the Naval ATF, but dismissed in 1991 as too expensive. ATF ultimately evolved into today's Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. The USAF had begun a replacement program of its own in 1990. The multi-role fighter, MRF, was to succeed the General Dynamics S-16 Fighting Falcon. By 1992, MRF was also being considered as a replacement for the USAF's Fairchild Republic A-10, a Thunderbolt I, and U.S. Navy McDonnell Douglas F-A-18C-D unit fleets. But as budgets and forces were cut following the end of the Cold War, F-16 upgrades became more attractive, and with its focus on ATF, the USAF ended MRF in 1993. More or less simultaneously and prior to the termination of NATF, the U.S. Navy returned to the quandary of how to replace the A-6, examining new options under the Advanced Attack Slash Advanced Slash Fighter Attack AX Slash A Slash FA program from 1991. Because it promised to create an aircraft of superior performance and capability, the USAF identified AX Slash A Slash FA as a potential replacement for its General Dynamics F-111, McDonnell Douglas F-15 E Strike Eagle, and Lockheed F-117 and Nighthawk platforms. With NATF cancelled, AX-A-FA slash -A gained new air-to-air -air requirements and became the Advanced Attack Slash Fighter, A-FX, slash and although progress was made, Congress became concerned at the number of projects underway with hopes of reaching the same or similar goals. As a result, a slash FX, ASTOVL, and its components were merged under the Joint Advanced Strike Technology, JASD, program in 1994. JAST aimed to gather and coalesce all the formative technologies existing under the various programs, but lasted barely a year, becoming Joint Strike Fighter, JSF when it reached its concept definition phase in 1996. Late that year, Boeing and Lockheed Martin were awarded contracts to produce two GSF demonstrators each for a competitive fly-off, with Boeing's aircraft designated X-32 and Lockheed Martin's X-35. In 1997, 
Lockheed Martin added Northrop Grumman and British Aerospace to its team, and the UK has since remained the primary overseas partner on the program. The intention with JSF was to create a stealthy tactical aircraft in three major variants. The conventional takeoff and landing CTR. A model was primarily an F-16 replacement. The STOVLB was intended to succeed the Harrier and the Carrier Horn. CV. C would belatedly fill the hole left by the U.S. Navy's A-6, while also replacing some U.S. Navy and Marine Corps' f slash A-18C slash D aircraft. Boeing was first into the air with the X-32A on September 18, 2000. The X-32B followed on March 29, 2000, and one, and the test program concluded on July 28. Lockheed Martin trailed by only a few weeks, flying the X-35A on October 24, 2000. With A testing completed on November 22, the aircraft was modified to X-35B configuration, first flying in its new form on June 23, 2001. While Boeing had completed CV testing with the X-32A, Lockheed Martin chose to fly a dedicated X-35C, which flew for the first time on December 16, 2000. The X-35 test program concluded on August 6, 2001. On October 26, the Lockheed Martin slash Northrop Grumman slash BAE Systems team was announced as winning the JSF contract and the X-35 began to evolve into the F-35 Lightning I. The UK formally announced its intention to acquire the F-35B Lightning in 2006. For many years, the country's JSF program was known as Joint Combat Aircraft, JCA which remained F-35B based until the 2010 Strategic Defense and Security Review, which switched the British requirement to the F-35C. But with the Queen Elizabeth class carrier design well advanced for STOVL, rather than the catapult and arrestor, cat and trap, gear required for CV operations, JCA resorted back to the F-35B at the same time increasingly becoming known as JSF by Program Insiders. Squadron leader Steve Long became the first British pilot to fly an F-35 on January 26, 2010, and in July 2012, the government announced its decision to purchase an initial batch of 48 aircraft. The first of these was delivered on July 19, 2012, for trials work, a Task 17 Reserve Squadron assumed in 2014. The 2015 Strategic Defense and Security Review confirmed the UK's intention to buy 138 Lightnings and subsequent work has seen a massive infrastructure upgrade at RAF Maran, the Tights RAF slash Royal Navy main operating base. In British service, the aircraft is known only as F-35B Lightning, losing its II. It is actually the RAF's third Lightning, after the Lockheed P-38 and 